Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the whole of the elect. And today, this message is going to be titled Seek Her Early, going into the wisdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. You see, that's what you should be doing, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You should be putting off your American ways and seeking into your powers, Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly called God, and Yahweh Sha being the name of His only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Because those are the only powers that's going to be able to protect us out of the times that we're coming into. Those are the only names that's going to deliver the elect. You see? Matter of fact, I'll grab that first. Because if you don't have the proper names to call on, to know who to repent and return to, hey, you're going to be uh, left out here without uh, answers. When all hell break loose, you're going to be in that perplexed state of mind. We say all faces are turned to paleness. You're going to be scared shitless. You're not going to know what to do. You're going to be praying to Buddha, Allah, Jesus, and you're not going to have any answers. You're going to, going to get uh, scarier and scarier, man. You're going to be mass death out here. Spirits created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. Apparitions. Newly created creatures. The famine. You see? Watching your loved ones starve to death. And you ain't going to have no answers. But we're here to tell you, hey, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, hey, you put down all these idols and return them to your Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh But this is um book of Acts, chapter 4 and verse 12. It says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that's going to Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. Those are the only names that um, can save you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the time to come. And we're here to tell you to, uh, to get it. Hey, why the getting is good, man? Because we see the times we're in. A hey, persecution is coming. Hey, the famine of the word is coming. And once the famine of the word comes, hey, you, you're going to be totally left without any type of answers. Got one more uh, precept. Ecclesiastes 24 and verse 24. It says, Faint not be to be strong in the Lord, that he may confirm you. She say, faint not to be strong in the Lord. Don't get, you know, spooked, you know. Hey, when, when persecution come, and you and only the elect is preparing their mind for this. And that's why we're warning you to tell you. So you can start preparing, you know, uh, mentally, spiritually, and, and praying to the Lord. and hoping that he have mercy upon you. It said that he may confirm you. When you go into the word confirming the Elamon, you go into um, a king, you see. That's why we say hold fast. To thy crown. He said that, that he may confirm you, cleave unto him, for the Lord Almighty, Yahweh Bahashim Shai, is the powers alone, and beside him there is no other salvation. You see, there's no other salvation that you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will be saved by. You see? And I got this article right here, which sparked the title, you know, Seek Her Early. Australia introduces new laws that will kill free speech and democracy. You see, just want to get this straight to the point. She says, if the myth, if the misinformation and disinformation bill is intact, then the free expression of ideas will be basically outlawed. You see, so they try this ultimate toward the ministry. So they try to say this is missing disinformation that they are they they are the people of the Lord or uh, you an Edomite you so called small hats you 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 the devil you see you just pure wicked 
and you 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 um confessed yourself to be the heavenly father you set yourself up in that stead knowing that you're a damn demon you see and he's just trying to shut down the ministry because hey, he has been exposed and he don't hey this this is a dreadful sign is is when we go out uh telling him he's the devil he's been going to slavery he don't want to hear that you see See, they know what's up. They, they spook. And that's why they also want to shut this ministry down. They're going to come down with great wrath because they know their time is near to come. It says, digital companies will be expected to adopt a code of conduct which will see them censor speech based on board, vague and far-reaching directives. You see, it's a digital companies will be expected to adopt the code of conducts. And you see, that's why you go YouTube, all these new different guidelines, all these strikes they sending out. They found they got new new strikes that they're sending out, man. The brother just went into it last night. You see? Hey, that's why we telling you, hey, to seek her early while why she may be found, man. Because hey, we see it's just a matter of time. <laughs> And 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 it says um, digital companies they're going they expect to get a code of conduct which will censor it says censor speech based on board vague and far reaching directives, and, uh, uh, such as like UFOs they can try to say that's far reaching that those are the cheers of the Lord, hey, but we got proof man through the scriptures. Hey, and this video is all over the net where the chairs of the Lord are appearing. And they tried to play the UFO game for years. They thought it was false, but now all of a sudden UFOs are real. That's how they know Esau, he just stupid, man. He put his foot in, in his own mouth. You see? He, he, he just don't make no sense, man. He a smart dummy. Yep. But um, this is the book of Amos, chapter 8 and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for war, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. See, so the Lord said, the day going to come, we're going to send a famine of the word, man. And it's also going to be a, a, a famine of the food and water. You see, but this word, hey, that's what it's going to be. Hey, you, you niggas, you're going to see, you're going to realize then, man, like, oh, they went out there playing. Everything's going to start to unfold. Persecution, the Karagma, World War Three, Evils and only evils. Then you're going to know, man. You're going to get to looking for the prophets and you ain't going to have no answers. And it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and... From the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh by Hashem al Shai, and shall not find it. You see, you're going to be all on the internet, driving past camp spots, calling your cousins and homeboys that you done made fun of. But you know what? They're going to tell you, hey, well, speak for myself first and foremost. I'm going to scoff. You see, that's going to be your answer. You're going to get mocked and scoffed in those days, man. Hey, figure it out, nigga. That's going to be what you're going to have to do. Because, hey, the Lord, he had, he's very merciful, showing his compassion through the way of his men out on the highways and byways. But you're constantly uh, rejecting it. So, the Lord said, he's going to mock at your calamity when your fear comes. This is 2 Chronicles 36 and 15. And Yahweh, by Hashem Shah, power of their father, sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. You see, the Lord, he, he constantly got brothers doing videos, the apostles still out, all the, the elders and the brethren all down, and hey, they still going out doing the work of the Lord. A hey, warning you people, telling you what's to come, telling you to get right, telling, giving you the names. You know, they give, hey, they putting you down on, on what to do to ultimately 
to, uh, to save your soul, you and your household. You see? Starting with you men. But here it is, you, you got niggas like that nigga Mia Wills want to scoff and shit. Talking about niggas just want to know some and get some money. Gonna be niggas like that. Hey, it's hands on his loins, crying in the times to come. Because the Lord is constantly showing his compassion, showing you love. And you want to talk shit. So in those days, hey, the Lord, he going to be talking shit. He going to be mocking when your calamity come. You see? It says, but they mock the messengers of the Most High and despise his words. Because that's how the Lord speak, through his messengers, through the prophets. You see? But they're constantly mocking. Get some money. You know, I got on aprons. All that lame ass shit. You niggas gonna die. Because all that ain't even gonna matter when, when Jacob's trouble pop off. Your money. All your guns. That shit's not gonna matter, man. Esau Edom got fucking Iron Man suits and sh drones and shit. He'll, he can blow your whole block up if he wanted to. And you niggas think just because you got a switch. How about Shemal Shafir unleash a grievous judgment upon two thirds of our people? Because all you mocking and scoffing and don't want to repent and return to you. How about Shemal Shah? He says, but they mock the messengers of the Most High and despise his words and misuse his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Shah arose against his people till there was no remedy. You see, it said the Lord, hey, he going to get so pissed. It tell you, he says, his wrath is going to come upon you with no remedy, man. That's why you got to think the Lord has apparition. Like, you got to think about that. Like, come on, man. They, they put this shit all in them movies. These uh, demonic movies, people get possessed. 13 ghosts, how they had uh, apparitions appear. Hey, the Lord have a, gonna have apparitions appearing upon people, man. Newly created creatures. Come knock your whole door off the hinges. These are the times that's up ahead, man. And if you don't fear the Lord, you crazy. Book of Proverbs. Yep, the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. I'm sorry, verse 24. Because I have called and ye refuse by way of his prophets, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. It says, But ye have sat and not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. You see, you walk past the camp, you scoff, ride by revving your engines, making threats. You rejecting the counsel, the instruction, the correction of Yahweh by Shema al Shah. And so the Lord is going to reject you. Verse 26 I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. And the Lord is going to do that by the way of his men. So when it's a famine out here, you done got scared to death. You sprawled out, as the elder saying, you starfished. And we're going to be mocking and laughing at you niggas, man. When, you, when we see you niggas lining up to go get uh, chipped up, we're going to laugh at you niggas because we're going to know the, your, your outcome, man. And it says, when your fear cometh as the desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come up upon you. See, the Lord said he's going to mock when distress and anguish uh come upon you, when destruction come upon you as a whirlwind, you see, it's the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, and verse 11, you know, going back to the title, that's why, hey, seek her early, because, hey, the powers, Yahweh by Hashem al is going to be the only thing that can have your life spared in the times to come. Is wisdom of Solomon 6 and 11. Wherefore, set your affection upon my words. Desire them, and ye shall be instructed. 
You see, so the Lord said, you supposed to set your affections upon his word and desire them, and you will be instructed. My fact. Is to um, Edamon for instruct, you say, to tell, inform, you see, you make this truth your desire, you set your affection upon the words of the Lord, and he's going to inform you of his mystery, and the secrets that uh, the masses of the people just can't get, you see, the um, the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema al it says, uh, knowledge or information, it says also, Furnished with authoritative directions, you see. Hey, man, going as of the Lord, man. You set your your affections on His truth. Hey, the Lord, He's gonna have you move. A hey, in wisdom, and the Scripture tell you, the Lord, He loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Yep, it says, verse twelve: Wisdom is glorious, and never fadeth away. Yeah, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. You see that I say it's plain unto the holy because those are the ones who love the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. They love to hear that America is going to be destroyed by the way of nuclear missiles. That our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to return, deliver the elect and rule the world in righteousness. That's our heart's desire to get out of this hell hole, man. It says she preventeth them that desire her in making herself first known unto them. It was going to prevent you from being taken from the wiles of the devil. You see? Because it's going to be very uh, serious out here, man. It's serious right now, but you you people don't even see it, man. Like the elder keeps saying, you, you can feel it. It feel like uh, something is going to happen, man. Now, I would say the calm before the storm. We can feel it, but everything just seems so calm and cool right now. But we see all hell breaking loose, man. You got the Israel and Hamas war going on, Russia, Ukraine. You got the BRICS nation ready to go to war with NATO and EU. It's just a matter of time before all hell break loose, man. That's why, hey, you should be seeking into your how about Shem outside early because when the famine of the word comes, Hey, people going to be, they going to know in their heart. They say, then you shall know that there was a prophet amongst you. You're going to know everything that the man on the corner was saying was true. Then you're going to want to know more, but it's going to be too late. And it says, whoso seek of her early shall have no great travail. You see, he said, if you seek her early, you shall have no great travail. I did the book of Isaiah 66. I'm tripping. It's a lot. Isaiah 55 and verse 6. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 55. It's a lot. The book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Hey, and now is the time where the Lord can be found. While you still have the apostles and elders still out. Out throughout the four corners of the earth warning you. This is the time to be seeking the Lord where he can be found while he is near. You see? Like it says, whoso seek of her early shall have no great travail. You seek her early, prepare your mind. A hey, hey, pray and trust in your by Shem Al Shai. It says that you seek her early. You see, before all hell break loose. You see, before the famine of the word. And Esau get to locking niggas up in concentration camps. It's going to be too late then. That's why now is the time to be seeking her early. It says, whoso seek of her early shall have no great travail. You see, you're going you're gonna to understand the times we're in. You're going to understand that it's all a test and just a, a, a trial of your faith. To see if you truly believe in Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. You see? So it said, if you seek her early, you shall have no great travail. You're not going to be um, um, 
overtaken by the way of your mind, bugging out. Because these niggas going to bug out out here, man. That's why they're going to, it says, all face turned to paleness, uh, per, that perplexed spirit. And it says, well, once again, whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his door. You know, that door going to your mind, you're going to constantly be thinking upon your how about Jimmy I was shy, man. You get thrown in the concentration camp, you're going to think about, hey, Daniel, he was fed in the lion's den. The Lord, he, uh, he freed the apostles out of the prisons when they was locked in. You see? Your head in the guillotine, hey, the Lord said the dead going to rise first. You see? So you're not going to bug out. You know, Lord, we will the elect. Uh, verse 15, it said to think. Therefore, upon her is perfection of wisdom. See, to think upon her is the perfection of wisdom. It says, and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. You see? So it says, if you watch uh, and seek unto wisdom, you know, set your affections upon the wisdom. I just understand that Yahweh by Shema was shot. It's said, no great travail shall come upon you. And you shall be quickly without care. So a hey, trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Al Shai. A hey, seek, a hey, seek him early while he may be found. Matter of fact, I'm gonna uh, close it out on this. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. A hey, for the famine of the word. Now is the time. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. You see, and that's what we're looking for, to be counted blameless in the sight of our powers, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, to be delivered from here in America and to see everlasting righteousness for eternity under our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. Well, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying unto you, brothers and sisters. I'm going to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhankadash. Double honor to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn the truth from, and Shalom to the hopefully elect.